You ever wonder what's really going on inside your body's plumbing? Let's talk about your arteries. Imagine them as super highways, flexible tubes delivering life-giving oxygen and nutrients to every single part of you. Smooth, clean, efficient. But what happens when there's a traffic jam? That traffic jam, my friends, is called plaque. So what exactly is this plaque? It's not the stuff on your teeth. It's a nasty, sticky mix of bad LDL cholesterol, calcium, dead cells, and other gunk. Think of it like a gross, fatty cement that decides to set up camp inside your artery walls. But how does it even start? It all begins with a tiny bit of damage. Your arteries have the super smooth inner lining called the endothelium. Things like high blood pressure, smoking, or even too much sugar can scratch and injure this delicate lining, making it rough and sticky. Once that wall is sticky, it's like an open invitation. Bad LDL cholesterol, which is floating around in your blood, sees that opening and slips right underneath the surface. Your body's immune system goes on high alert and sends in the cleanup crew, cells called macrophages. But here's the twist. Instead of cleaning up the mess, these macrophages start gobbling up so much cholesterol that they swell up and become what we call foam cells. These bloated foam cells eventually die, creating a toxic mess that triggers even more inflammation. It's a vicious cycle. More inflammation means more stickiness, which invites more cholesterol, which creates more foam cells. And the plaque just keeps growing, layer by layer. It's like a slow motion disaster happening inside you. Over years, this plaque can harden and grow so big that it starts to narrow your arteries. It's exactly like grease building up in your kitchen pipes. At first, things just slow down a little. But eventually, the flow gets so restricted that your heart and brain don't get the oxygen they desperately need. And here's the really scary part. Sometimes that hardened plaque can crack or rupture. Your body panics and tries to fix the injury by forming a blood clot. If that clot is big enough, it can completely block the artery. If it happens in an artery feeding your heart, that's a heart attack. If it happens in an artery going to your brain, that's a stroke. Okay, that was heavy. But the good news is we are not powerless. This isn't a guaranteed fate. Plaque builds up slowly over decades, which means you have time to fight back. So how do you stop it? First, starve the plaque. Lower your bad LDL cholesterol by eating more fiber-rich foods like oats, beans, and apples. Second, protect your artery walls. Get your blood pressure and blood sugar under control with a healthy diet and regular exercise. And if you smoke, quitting is the single best thing you can do for your arteries. Full stop. Staying active is also key. It boosts circulation and keeps your arteries flexible and healthy. And of course, if you need it, modern medicine has incredible tools like statins to lower cholesterol or procedures like angioplasty to open up blocked arteries.